any easier bracket? Did they just get lucky? Or are our players just kind of like slipping a little bit, you I know? Think, I think PSI guy said it best right here. Um, sorry if it, I forget if it's PSI or Psy. I forget which one you prefer. But uh, he said our mid-level players want it more than right. our top players right now. And I, I would have to agree. It's like our our, our unranked players are mid Mid level, I wouldn't even call them mid level players because they're they're high level. I mean, honestly, if our you're unranked to... players right now are on the grind and they are like motivated Dude, to they're... push themselves to go to events to like train with their with their friends, and that's something that's like lacking on the uh, with the upper echelon right. players for sure. I mean, how often do you see like <coughs> Void or? Larry actually show up to a local here. Like it's rare. Very, it's very rare, you know. Like Boyd was here today, though. He didn't enter the bracket, but he right, was uh, but playing I mean, friendlies. I mean, there, that's good too, though, because that 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 is actually you know providing um, practice to uh, the other players that are here. So. Right. I mean, yet again, like there is that, but I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's just because like we don't like I personally don't interact with all the top players like on a personal level, so I don't know how much they choose to grind on their own. But like I know. A lot of top-level players, from what I've heard, just like kind of lost that grind motivation. You know, it sounds it sounds like yeah. a lot of them are kind of just like lost in the well, we'll see. the abyss. We'll see. So Dark Paladin 420 against Razo right here. Yes, that's Nico. That's Nico. Right. And yet again, opting to go with the Shulk, not pulling out any uh, strings, not pulling any punches here. And yet again, going into Buster. So honestly, like. You'd usually be like, oh, shoot, I'm up against Peach, the character that, like, I get hit with a turn up at zero, and all of a sudden I eat 60, and I want to go Buster against this character? Yeah. Do I want to go to 100? But then again, no, if you're going to eat damage, like, you might as well try to dish them out uh, the same amount of damage back. But then again, trying to read that up, and manages to snipe him out with that air slash right there. You know, Razo tried to float away, but just couldn't just drift back in time. A lot of percent here for Nico on his second stock. He has shield mode activated. Not going to be much use. Now throw. Okay, 150. Raza just not letting up with this pressure. And yet again, now Nico doing really well to hold on to the stock at 163 and you no know, Razo just struggling to get in against the sortie. Now usually it's Peach that's always like I'm gonna hit you with the unpunishable side B with that fair that lasts for so quickly but yet again like how are you gonna punish it and yet again you no know, it seems like uh, Peach is just struggling to find the kill at this point which is very rare to see. Yeah, he does have a massive percent lead right now, but it's not going to matter too much if Nico's able to, like, survive long enough to take the KO before he does. Sniped. He doesn't have a double jump, and he gets sniped out of the sky again. That's going to be the stock. I mean, when you die at 220, like, that's a pretty good stock, in my opinion. So, yeah. yet again. F funny thing about that is that, like, the way he took the stock was, like, he could have done that at any percent, right? right? So, it's like, he's capable of doing it. He just couldn't find, he couldn't put Nico in the position that he wanted to or needed him to be in to get those KOs. I mean, definitely with the turnips, like, there's only so many angles you can throw it at that, you know, he just really needed to push him to be like, okay, I need to extend your double jump and get you into this area right here. And, you know, when Nico's at low percent, like, he's just like, okay, I'm going to do everything I can to just recover low so I don't have to do that. And yet again, here we go again, gets the fair off stage and manages to finish off uh, Raza with that clean edge guard right there. All right. So Nico regaining the lead right here, activating Shield Monado a little bit early if I say so myself. He's only at 83%. He's going to go back into Buster. Here's Switching, it's, it's so hard to commentate a sh the Shulk match, even harder to co commentate a Shulk match in this game because they switch arts so much faster in this game. It's like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, when you have that uh, art style where yeah. you can like instantly like pull up any art, yeah. you know? Like, you can do some, like, weird and wacky shenanigans. Like, if you're in a multi-hit, you can, like, go into shield, like, in the multi-hit and get switch to buster as soon as, like, you're done with yeah, the Yeah, and there's, there's dial storage, too. Uh, so you can definitely, like, shave the frame, the, the like, initial frames of, of the activating the Monado. Some cool tech. Ooh, I like that. Using the Monado oh. art change to kind of, like, stall in the air for, like, that fraction of a second to avoid the turnip. But yet again, Razo bringing this back. He's already brought it back to even stocks and gets the turnip, but not going to be able to find the grab on that point. 
Gets snared. Here's the backslash. And yet again, that was the strong hit. And now he's in Buster. Anything can happen. Or Buster smash. But oh my god, he went nowhere after getting forward throwing in that shield. Bazo at 109%. It's going to eat this back air. Nico going to chase him. Yeah, but such amazing delay from Raza to avoid any potential edge guard from Nico. Oh, 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 yeah. oh not, not about the oh, face, dude, but he still he was able to combo off of it. <laughs> but you know, like Nico on that uh, up air or the up, the up B at like the top of the stage yeah. too. It's gonna be like I'm in jump, I can chase you up there. You better not give me this opportunity because I will shark for you if I can. And again, here he is in speed. No, is he going to be fast enough to find this kill? Or will Razo sweep it out from under his feet? Uh, he's at a dangerously high percent right now, 171. Any stray hit may do him in, but Nico needs to actually find his way in to do so. I mean, I'm more worried for Nico at this point because, no, he has a lot more, like, oh. he has a lot Ooh. more uh, opportunities oh, to no. mess up here. And just like that. You cursed him. You said he had opportunities to mess up, and that's exactly what he did. He messed up. He uh, he he pr he practically he, he practically SD'd. I mean, he he went into jump and then like went too low to be able to recover. I feel like he just got scared almost by that turn and be like, oh shoot, I have to go into shield really quick so I don't die. Yeah. And then I guess he either fast felt a little bit too much. Yeah. Or it, I think it was the fast fell the fast fall that like did him in because he he still could have made it back but if he had been able to up B immediately. All right. All right, so game number one going to Razo. And again, yeah. That was just really surprising for for Nico to just lose that game right oh, there. But yo. you know, Nico's saying like, oh, oh, wow, he almost got that kill. But you know, Razo almost just being like, OK, double jump immediately up B. And we are back to center stage. And what was that down there? I'm sorry. Did you think you'd kill me at like 20%? Not gonna yeah. happen with my recovery. No, but Nico just trying to send a message. Up tilt and smash art. Sending Peach so far into that top blast zone, but not enough to take the KO quite yet. And you saw him trying to up smash that side B yet again. They, they said that they gave more end lag to that side B. That like, oh yeah, you can actually punch it. No, the you Peach Bomber. Yeah, the Peach Bomber. Yeah. You still cannot punch that move. I don't know what you say. Unless you have like a super amazing like Nair or up the out of shield that like comes out immediately. But if you don't, then like it's damn near impossible to challenge that move at all. And that was in a really amazing tech, and unfortunately, gonna clash with that uh, side B right there, but gets the back air and takes out the stock. All right, Nico moving up in this game number two, 131%, though, a very fragile life at his disposal. Forward air from across the screen, not gonna be too dangerous for him here just yet. Buster Art. And getting some nice damage, getting some nice hits in. And yet again, every single hit that he gets on Razo in his Buster form. And yet again, here comes Smash, and here's the fourth Ooh, throw. Oh, yes, man. This is so good for Nico right here. 148. He barely took like 20%, 20 to 30% on that uh, second stock. And was able to secure another KO. I mean, I see Nico just turning oh. it up at this point. Ooh. He gets another fairy, and he's going to go for the back air. Oh, no, not going to be able to challenge that Peach Bomber. Yeah, Peach Bomber coming out a little bit too fast for uh, versus Shulk's aerials, which don't come out quite as fast. Dude, I love that connecting the Nair into forward tail and getting that nice little combo just because I throw it up. Yeah, that'll be it. 103% though, Razo's living on the very borrowed time right now. Oh, Ooh, oh that's totally. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Smash is just stupid strong when yeah, down tilt kills. Like he was even like below the stage a little bit, so like he had even more space to yeah. like not die from that. For those of you at home who may not know, Shulk Monado arts they give them varying properties, and in that case, the Smash art. Uh, Adds knockback to all of your attacks. Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, the uh, negative to it is that you also take more knockback. Right? It's like you you dish out like 40% more knockback, but you also take like 20% more. Something like that. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure on the percentages. Nico knows, but yeah. I, I just know you take you deal more knockback, you take more knockback. So, I mean, at lower percents, like it could be good because you can avoid a lot of like low percent combos out of that because you take more knockback. Oh but sure, yeah. I never even thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, again, Peach was. Like kind of like the one of the best things to do at low percent because you know if Peach grabs you up at zero, like you're eating like 50 to 60 percent depending on your character. Okay, so game number three here. 
Moving to F, D. Nico activating that uh, Buster Monado. Pretty early, trying to get this early damage, of course, Buster Art. Uh, adding damage to your attacks. I forgot you, what the negative to is. Uh, you take more damage, you, too. You, you, take more damage. you take more damage, and then uh, your knockback is also reduced. Knockback reduced. I knew there was like an extra part to that. So, I mean, that might mean that, like, hey, things can combo, like, a lot longer now because, like, you don't yeah. get sent as far. Yeah, that's right. You get, you get like, um, combos off of down tilt that you didn't have before as well, like, a earlier percent. Again, quick dash attack, and avoiding the turnip. Off stage, he's going to find, he manages to find the back air right there, and I, that's just an amazing range on that move. Like, that, that back air oh. is basically, like, the new Nair of this game. Because, like, Nair, Nair and... Smash 4 was like amazing because it kind of like hit in front and behind him. And I feel like that's the bear today. For sure. Nico taking that first stock from Razo. Uh, bit of a questionable situation. Razo got up onto the stage and then dropped the shield, got hit by the back air. Nico at 172 in the shield art, gets a quick 20 off that neutral air to forward tilt. Ooh, yep. Oh, oh, that was an amazing DI. You know, usually like Peach Dash Attack is like one of her like better like straight hit kill options, but even at 180, like it wasn't gonna kill it. Gets a smash off stage, he's at 50, is it gonna be enough? But oh my god, he wanted the up B too, but he gets hit by that bear when he tried to roll on the stage and yet again Nico kind of like throwing that stock away almost, but here we go, here's the edge guard, not gonna be able to find it. Honestly, Nico at this point has just been doing so well, keeping Raza like zoned out using his sword. Yeah. All right, Nico getting that forward air, chasing deep in that speed art. I mean, you know, he just needed one more aerial off stage, and that, that was going to be Raza's stock right there. But Raza finding his way in, gets the grab, gets the back air, and he's going to go for the edge guard. But tries going for the fair, but gets hit by the sword of the back air instead. And yet again, another back air will clean out Raza's stock. All right, let's see what Nico can do now. He's got 70%, two stocks up. One stock up, two to one. Playing a little bit more patiently now. Uh, trying to secure this 2-1 lead in the set. Yeah, I mean, you have a stock lead. You're only at 98%. Yeah. You know, don't overcommit to something. Because you know Peach can just take stocks, like, easily if she gets sniped. Yeah, if you don't, and if you don't space yourself properly, like, you get hit. What, by one out of shield, like aerial or even a down tilt. And, and then it's off to the races with Peach. Yep. Ooh. Ooh, nice drop zone fair. He's going to get for the bear. Goes for the cross. Uh, nice. I was going to say cross slash. No, that's uh, air slash. Air slash. Yeah. Down throw. Going to shield to kind of live a little bit longer. Opting to just cancel yeah. out of it immediately. That was crucial for him to activate the shield immediately out of that down throw because he was in smash art previously, so he didn't want to die early to anything. And again, quick fair, and yet again, not going to be able to punish it. Here's the down smash, and gets punished by the up B. All he's going to go for is that aerial, but goes into smash, gets the back throw. Is it going to be it? Yes, yes, it is. Incredibly potent. I mean, that smash art just makes everything Schultz has a KO option. Right? I mean, in Smash 4, it was the down throw that was like always the go-to option. Now yeah. it's actually like the forward throw and back throw that are like the good options yeah. to KO with Smash Art. I think down throw would still be like a, a good option, except in that position he had his back um, towards the ledge. So if right. down throw would have sent him like across the screen, he probably would have still lived there. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. for sure. But like if he had been facing Forward towards the, the yeah, like, zone. It yeah, it would have been better been to go easy. for forward throw anyways, just because yeah. down throw does not have that same knockback as it does in this game. Or does, maybe it's not the knockback is different, but the angle it sends you as. Uh, yeah, so probably something like that. Yeah. Here we go, running to game four back on FD. Well, this is Razo's counter pick, so he really needs to make the most of it if he wants to bring this to a game five. All right. With Nair, but yet again, Razo getting all these parries is just not finding nothing off of it because Eagle just spaces these moves so incredibly well. And again, no, Nico just finding all these aerials and just keeping Razo just zoned out. But Razo, once he gets in, he takes the percent lead, and you know what? It's just going to be really hard for Nico to kind of like 
find that kill. Razo's just not going to let him get the, the aerials off stage. Right. Oof. Going for that forward smash. And Razo had a counter ready for him, but they just were just slightly out of reach. Right. It's like both players knew what they were thinking, yeah. and they were just like, okay, we don't want to overcommit this move, and so they both just ended up spacing it. Ooh, that was a nice quick drop zone fair off stage. And yet again, I feel like the reason why he was able to uh, catch Rosal with that because he was in speed to get off stage quick enough for it. And I like that, using the Buster uh, side B to kind of like go to the ledge. That move actually snaps ledge now, so you can actually use it to help it recover. Okay, really expert air dodge from Nico there. Forced out of the shield from Otto. Barely avoiding the downers from Razo as well. 175 on his first stock still. Ooh, the very back hit of neutral air, getting him in the, a back air, and then even a forward air to follow up. Oh my god, dude. I didn't even see him activate the smash art. That was so quick. Loses the stock, but he's still up by one, and a full stock at that. Oh my god. You know what? I love what Nico's doing. Now, he's definitely playing the game as if, like, okay, I'm going to try to make the most out of every single song. And you see him. He hasn't died to anything less than, like, 150, sure. 160 he's, percent. He's living, I think, I would argue higher than that, man. I would see him at least 170, like. All right, here's the buster. Gets some damage with the jabs, all right? Misses the last jabs, but gets a grab out of it. I feel like Razo wasn't even expecting no it to like fall yeah. out of jab. He's like, wait, what? <laughs> like, that, that's jab. Jab's like the there's, whole point. They're supposed it, to it, work. Yeah. <laughs> they're supposed to work, but it didn't. I feel like it only didn't work because the reduced knockback yeah, from yeah. Buster. So like, he was able to like kind of like land on the ground quicker, I guess. That jab was also like just a weird option. I feel like it might have been a miss input. I mean, I can see it as like being one of Shulk's like fastest like ground options if you just need like, hey, I need a quick move to like yeah. punish you with before you go into shield. But gets the counter and you know what? That used to go through shield, and I guess it doesn't anymore in this game. Yeah, it went so far though; it yeah. crossed Ra uh, Razo up so much that he wasn't able to actually get a punish. He tried. And he gets the fair, and yet again, living to one forty. Oh, <laughs> let's go! <laughs> Do another one. <laughs> Like, yet again, here's Smash Art, and you know what? This is do or die for Razo. Like, oh can he man. outlive the Smash Art? It's almost like oh, living through Joker yeah. Ascent, yeah. but oh. <laughs> JV2 and Nico takes the 3 1 victory. Only dropping one game to Razo.